Was today the 4th of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? Looks like things are gonna get weird today. Who are they? Hey, can I ask you something? Are you guys aliens? I don't think they're here to talk, Master. Oh shit! This looks like fun! Let me play! You know how to take these guys down? Beat them to fucking death! Strategy is born from battle. I'll take the one in the middle. Do whatever you want with the rest. Let me have some fun, fucking losers! Let's go! Start the game. Hey gamers, limit your gaming to 10 hours per day. Any more, and you're seriously gonna die. Hope everyone's doing great today. Your good old girl next door, Sylvia, is going to introduce another new game today. Today's title is No More Heroes 3. don't know the prequels, so you're not interested? Wait, wait, wait. You can totally pick it up from three. Watch this little show for all you need to know about No More Heroes. A courier who spends his day spanking the monkey scores a bean katana in an online auction and then finally makes his debut as an assassin. It turns out he's got a real knack for battle and enters the rankings of the United Assassins Association. He then goes on to challenge and subsequently defeat all the other ranked assassins, eventually reaching the number one spot. For some weird reason, in the sequel, No More Heroes 2, he's dropped down to number 51 in the rankings, fights his way back up to the number one spot, and finally reclaims his title. He then hooks up with the woman he loves. Then, the Stravis strikes again, released in 2019. This was a spin-off with new adventures for Travis. In Travis Strikes Again, he actually goes inside the video game world. Travis has to fight video game characters, and he meets people that are like him. It's the kind of experimental game that'll get farmed over in 10 years. Check it out. Anyway, back to the live stream. The hero in the middle of the action is Travis Touchdown, the legendary assassin who has twice claimed the number one spot in the assassin rankings. Let me introduce you to the girls fighting with Travis. Shinobu Jacobs, who, after having her arm severed in a battle with Travis, arbitrarily decided to become his pupil and now thinks of him as her master. This crazy broad over here is Bad Girl, a full-on psycho killer who beats people to death with her bat. Travis once killed her, but she was apparently brought back by some weird game console or whatever. Just play this game and you'll pick up on all the rest. In the new No More Heroes 3, what was once a fight between assassins is now a battle to the death on a galactic scale. A battle between a legendary assassin and a mysterious alien army. Even if you haven't played the prequels, it's awesome. But it's even more awesome if you play the prequels first. Gamers have but one goal to take down the opponent in front of you. Hurry up and grab the controller. The game has already started. Ready? You know what to do, right? Just destroy all those nasty aliens. They are right before your eyes. I can feel that bloodlust raging. You have no idea what you're thinking. You need 
need to pump up that energy. Eat all the popcorn and chips you want. Drink a whole shitload of soda and play till your control air is covered in grease. You gotta kill, kill, and then kill some more. Hesitate, and you are dead. Got it? Now, fight. Welcome to the Garden of Slaughter.